Sixers do not have a foul to give. The shot clock is unplugged. 8.8 to go. What are the Nets doing? Darren Williams is taking the ball out of the bounds, so I look for him to throw the ball to Okora Humphreys and get it right back on a handoff. On their feet at Wells Fargo Center, Iguodala on Darren Williams. He tried to, but Iggy's playing deep. Young has him on a switch. Darren Williams, can he get it off? He did, and he yep. ties it. Yep. Wow. 1.3 to go. The Sixers burn their final timeout. You saw it coming, Mark. You saw it coming when Darren Williams was taking the ball out. Taking the ball out, you know they're going to him. They're not going to put him out of bounds. That's the uh, most important position there. He gets the ball back. Iggy tried his best to deny him back. He obviously knew the ball was coming, but once Darren Williams got his hands on the ball, there was no denying him. Thaddeus Young, who has played sparingly in this fourth quarter, he did suffer a lower back bruise earlier in the half. And he was trying to deal with Williams. Andre Iguodala is on Duran Williams. Now they switch with Holiday. You get five seconds to get it in. Holiday got a piece of it, but Duran Williams got it back. A long five seconds for New Jersey. Now Jody Meeks has Duran Williams on a switch. Williams wants him. Duran Williams ties it at 90. Wow, the Sixers were all over that play. They guarded it perfectly, and the ball still got to Darren Williams, and he was able to do just that. Jody Meeks, a healthy three. No foul, no foul. Each team does have a foul to give. Lock at 90. Again, Iguodala is on Darren Williams. Now Meeks on a switch. Here they go again. Darren Williams for three in the lead. His third three of the game. Say it ain't so. Twenty-six point eight to go in the overtime. That's what makes Darren Williams special? You can do what you can to try and get the ball from him, but when he gets his hands on the ball, he has ice in his veins. Extra session with the ball. If you're wondering why, how we got here, Mark. Take a look at that man right there, Darren Williams. In the overtime period, Lou Williams, who sparked the Sixers early in the fourth quarter, got the tear drop there. Miscommunication by the Nets leads to the Sixers steal and the Drew Holiday flush. But Darren Williams, not to be denied, behind a great defense by Jody Meeks, sticks the baseline jumper, and then he marks the pistol. Six times, they gave up a handful of offensive rebounds, and they fell behind early and were forced to play catch-up. That gave New Jersey instant confidence, and they've been in this game ever since. Exactly right, Mark. And when you're short-handed like that,